Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. We are in the process of creating a blogger theme from scratch and we have started with the design. So in the previous video, we designed the popular post and the contact section. And in this section, we will design the footer. So let's get started. Right, so here's our design. So let's scroll down to the footer. And here we can see for the footer, we have three sections. On the left, we have the logo and uh, in the middle, we have some quick links. And on the right, we have the social media icons. So let's go to VS Code, which is the code editor that we are using. And uh, let's start with the HTML. I have already opened this uh, on my browser. So here we can see this is our progress as of now. We have the hero section, we have the latest posts and the popular posts and the contactors section. Now let's go over here and let's get out of the wrapper division because if you go to the design, we can see that the width of the footer has the full width of uh, the browser and the contents inside the footer has uh, the limited width of the wrapper. So we have to add the wrapper division inside the footer tag so that uh, when we give the background color to footer, we will have the full width of the background color. So let's go to our core editor and uh, here let's type end of contact section. And uh, let's create a footer tag. And in that we'll create the wrapper division. And for the wrapper division, we have already given a style to limit the width of uh, the elements. So here we can see for wrapper, we have a width of 1152 pixels. All right. So inside the wrapper, we will create one more division with a class of footer container. And uh, in that we have three sections. So here we have the logo on the left and uh, then we have two more sections over here. So we'll create three divisions for that. And uh, for the first division, we will give a class name of footer left. And for the second division, we'll give a class name of footer center. And for the third one, we will give a class name of footer right. Right, for the footer left, we have a logo. So let's add the logo right here. We can just add an image. So I'll type IMG. And in the SRC, we'll just type images slash logo dot PNG. Let's go to a browser and we can see the logo is already being displayed. Let's also add uh, the footer center. So inside the footer center, uh, we have a heading. So for the heading, we have quick links. So let's create an H4. And uh, let's uh, give it a class name of list title. And we'll just type quick links over here. And after that, we'll create an unordered list for all these links. So let's type UL and in that we'll create list items. And in the list items, we will have anchor tags. And for now, we'll just type hash for the href. And uh, inside this, we will type home. And uh, I'll just copy this list item two more times. And for the second one, we have about. And for the third one, we have contact and we'll add one more for the privacy policy. So let's paste it once more. And here we'll type privacy policy. All right, for the footer right, we have the heading as well. So here we can see follow us on is the heading. So let's create an H4 and we'll type list title. And we'll just type follow us on. And then we'll create a division for holding these three icons. So let's create a division with the class of social icons. And uh, in that we'll have anchor tags because all these icons will be clickable. And uh, in the anchor tags, we will have the images. So IMG images slash the first one is Instagram logo. And let me just copy this anchor tag and paste it two more times. And the second one is Facebook. And the third one is Twitter. All right, that's it with the anchor tags. Now outside the social icons division, we'll create a paragraph. 
and we'll just type website developed by live blogger and we'll also add a copyright symbol so for that we'll just type ampersand copy semicolon and we'll type 2020 so here we can see we have the copyright symbol and we have all the elements displayed on the screen now let's go to our CSS and start styling this footer so let's add a comment and first of all we we'll target the footer element and we'll give it a background color of black and the color of the text to light gray and we'll give it a padding of 36 pixels now for the anchor text we have to specifically set the color so let's type footer a and we'll set the color to fc 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 and while we are here we'll also remove the underline so we'll type text decoration to none and when we hover over this anchor tags we will have the underlines so let's type footer a colon hover and text decoration to underline so now when we hover over this we have the underlines now let's target the footer container division so if you go to the HTML we can see inside the footer container division we have the footer left the footer center and the footer right so if we set the display of the footer container to display flex then all the items will be displayed one next to the other so let's type footer footer container and we'll set the display to flex and we'll also spread everything evenly so we'll just type justify content and we'll set it to space around so now we can see that everything is uh, spaced correctly now let's target the footer left and for the footer left we have this logo at the center vertically so let's target the footer left so here we will type footer footer left and we'll set align self to center and now we can see that our logo is at the center now let's target the unordered list so let's type footer ul and first of all we'll remove the bullets so we'll type list style to none and we'll also set a margin top of 16 pixels from the heading now we'll also have some margin between each of these list items so let's type footer ul li and we'll set the margin to 12 pixels top and bottom and 8 pixels left and right all right that's it with the ul now let's target the footer right so in footer right we have the social icons division so let's type footer social icons and we'll set a margin top of 20 pixels for this and uh, we'll also give a background color of 111 which is dark gray and uh, let's also set a padding of 10 pixels and we'll also set the maximum width to 260 pixels right now let's have some gap between each of these uh, images so here we will type footer social icons img and we'll set a margin of 0 pixels top and bottom and 20 pixels left and right and let's also add rounded corners so for that here we'll type border radius and we'll set it to 10 pixels alright now when we hover over these images we can see we have these underlines because these images are inside anchor tags so let's remove the underlines so let's type footer social icons a and we'll set the text decoration to none now we don't have the underlines 
And the last thing to do is set a margin top to this uh, paragraph. So let's type footer, footer right, P, and uh, we'll set a margin top of 20 pixels. All right, that's it with the footer of our website. In the next section, I will show you how to create the search icon animation so that when you click on the search icon, we should have a search box appear. And we'll be using some JavaScript for that along with the CSS animations. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.